Hey everybody, it's Tina. I just wanted to show you a quick DIY that you can do at home. Um, or if you're interested in something like this and you don't have all the materials or you don't wanna bother with it, something that you can find in our Etsy shop, which I will link down below. So we are making um, what we would call an intention candle. So what it is, I'll show you how the end result looks real quick. What it is, is it's just this. You can take pretty much any glass jar. Um, you wanna get something that is pretty sturdy, okay? You don't want anything too thin because it might shatter. Um, but you can take pretty much any glass jar and pretty much make that into a candle as we've done there, as you can see. So um, what we are doing is, uh, you know, adding in a variety of herbs and crystals and essential oils and things like that um, that give the candle a specific intention. You can do one for, like, if you wanted to do prosperity. You could do um, cinnamon, clove, peppermint. Um, let's see what we got over here. Rosemary essential oil and then citrine crystals. All of those would be prosperity drawing herbs. Um, if you wanted to do love, you could do one that's got some... Um, rose petals, rose hips, calorie shell, rose quartz, um, you know, and then maybe some hibiscus as well or lavender essential oil. And that would be one for drawing love. You can mix and match. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys see why I can't film right now? <laughs> That's, that's my neighbor's house. They're doing massive construction over there. So I'm so sorry. I tried to film in between their little, uh, their little fiasco going on over there, but apparently I, I'm too uh, slow. So anyway, you can mix and match and basically um, create, you know, something that is specifically yours uh, using all this stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how we would make one of these intention candles in the shop if you were to order one. Um, so again, I've got my glass jar here and it comes with this little lid. Isn't this adorable? This is like, uh, we got it at Michael's. We got a bunch of them, as many as we could find. All right, and then I've got in here some wax that I have melted on my stove top in a double boiler. I'm using paraffin wax. You can use soy wax, you can use beeswax, but if you use beeswax, which I, I love beeswax, once you've worked with beeswax, like no other wax compares, um, but it's a, it's got a completely different, it's a different ball game, okay? A, it's about probably five times the cost, and B, it's uh, you need different wicks, and just everything is different about beeswax. All right, so you got that. I've got the wick that's um, already set in there with a special sticker that's specifically for wicks. I use those in my other candles that I make as well. And then I'm gonna make a candle, let's say, I'm making this actually for a friend of mine. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'm gonna do a little bit of love and a little bit of money for her, just an all around good intention candle. So I'm gonna add some Damiana, which is a love herb. And when, when the, candle is very very liquid like this it some of those will sink down to the bottom as you can see they kind of get suspended in the wax but they will sink down so you may want to give it a second if you're looking for stuff to be on top um, which I'll show you guys in a second so I'm gonna add some Damiana I'm gonna add some let's do how about some calendula I love calendula you guys are gonna see so much more of this in the shop I can't wait to show you what I'm doing it's amazing um, okay, I'm also gonna add in there, eh, let's do a couple of cloves. I don't know if they float or not, but we'll find out. Nope, they sink. All right, so knowing that they sink, and I always work in lucky numbers, as you know, so I'm using three. Knowing that those sink, I'm gonna wait a few minutes and let that harden a minute, and then hopefully these guys next door will cut it out <laughs> for a minute so I can finish this. All right, so what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for this wax to kind of set up for a second, I've got a few of my herbs in there. Oh, let me go ahead and add my oil. I'm gonna add in some lemon oil. Lemon is really good for cleansing away any negative energy, and plus it smells amazing. It's good for, you know, a lot of things, but oh, I just love lemon. So I'm gonna add a few drops of lemon essential oil in there. Okay, that, by the way, is not going to give your, it's not gonna give your candle a huge amount of throw. Uh, throw meaning a very strong scent, like a Bath & Body Works candle would. It's just going to add it uh, a slight essence to that, and that is for the magical purpose of this. All right, I'm gonna set my wick up, and I use a clothespin to do that so that when it dries, it's up the center of the candle. Um, and then I'm gonna come back in a few minutes, guys, once it's set for a little bit, and I'll show you how to kind of get this look where you get the herbs uh, on top as well. 
All right, be right back. Hey guys, I'm trying to get this filmed while the filming is good. They just stopped. So um, anyway, so we've got the candle. It's been setting for about 10 minutes. Now, as you can see, most of the stuff has sunk to the bottom. So again, if you're gonna want to do something where you want to have things on top and your crystals especially important here, um, you're gonna wanna wait probably about 15 to 20 minutes. Just depends on the size of your candle and the temperature of your room. Um, and then once the wax turns white, but not completely solid, you'll want to start put placing those items on top. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this candle and shut off this video before my uh, the neighbors start uh, cutting down trees again. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know if you are interested in having one of these done for you, we do do these in my shop and the link for that will be down below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a beautiful weekend. I'll be actually back on probably tonight or tomorrow with some more amazing stuff that I'm working on for the shop. Um, so I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.